This is Math 142, practice test 2, problem number 6. We're supposed to solve this. And one thing I notice is that I have this, um, this x over 3. And uh, this solving this, it's bounded. I'm given a bound, um, 0 to 2 pi. So I shouldn't, none of my answers should really be larger than 360, larger than 2 pi. So um, let me get this alone here in a second and see what, what I can do. But but first, like this x over 3, remember when we were graphing um, trig functions, we talked about the period. So the period of this function, remember it's, it's 2 pi divided by this multiplier. So 2 pi over 3, uh, oh, I'm sorry, over 1 third, which is 6 pi. So this actually goes around three times before it starts repeating itself. Um, so that gives us a hint about how to limit this. Well, let's just uh, see what we can do first. Add root three to both sides. So this is root three divided by two. Great. And so now notice, it, notice it's cosine of something gives us that value. So that means that this something could end up being, I'm just going to look this up, root, cosine is root 3 over 2. It's a little bit of width. So it looks like um, 30 degrees or pi over 6. And 11 pi over 6, 330. All right. So... I'm not solving for x over 3, though. I'm solving for x. So I'm going to multiply uh, everything by 3. And so notice if I do that over here with this uh, pi over 6, I end up with 3 pi over 6, which is pi over 2, which is great. I love it. Um, if I multiply this one by 3, I end up with 33 pi over 6. And notice that's bigger than 2 pi. So this one I actually have to throw out because it's outside of my bound. And this gave me a hint that that was going to happen. All right, so here's my answer right here.